Hello there, I'm Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company, and I have the five new Pilot Metallic Vanishing Points in my hand. Now these are the same 18 karat nib Pilot Vanishing Points that you've seen in lots of other colors before, but these are black matte accented, kind of sparkly, metallic, bright, vibrant colors. Really kind of cool, something kind of neat that I haven't really seen from Pilot before. So it's kind of cool, so I'm gonna show you what these are all about. They are, aren't they beauties? Got from left to right here, copper red, mountain blue, valley green, tropical purple, and desert orange. Okay, so pretty, pretty nice colors. I will say that some of the stock photos that came out, especially some of the environmental ones, like the ones where they were on like some wood and kind of psh, splashed with water. You know, you probably saw those uh, that we uh, released in pictures here in late March. Um, those were kind of stock images that came from Pilot, and those were just a little bit overcooked in my opinion. The vibrancy of those colors made it pop a little more than I'm seeing here in real life. There are some pictures out there that are a little more true to color, and uh, on GouletPens.com we really tried to accurately represent them as closely as possible. Um, now I will say in different lighting conditions, these colors may have a little more pop to them and whatnot. I've got, you know, fluorescent lighting here, daylight fluorescent lighting. So this is a pretty good kind of all around judge of what the color will be. Um, now that said, it's got the black matte accents similar to what you'd see on the black matte vanishing points or the uh, gun metal with black matte accents. So I thought it would be kind of nice to you know, just kind of compare those two there. And then I got some other colors too, just to give you a little bit of a comparison. I've got the um, red vanishing point, you know, just because it's the name was red, but it's, it's really quite different uh, from this copper red. Um, this is the red is just a solid, solid color. Uh, and then I've got a blue as well, which is just a solid blue, um, no sparkle to it at all. Um, these, these pens really have a, a lot of sparkle to them. Uh, and, you know, for some reason, I just, I had in my head that maybe these pens would be lighter than the other vanishing points or something. I don't know, the black matte one to me feels lighter than the ones with the rhodium trim, but they're not, they're all the exact same weight. So uh, no need there. You know, it's about 25 grams without the, without the nib in it. Um, and I will say the, the nibs that are coming on these pens are black nibs. So that's really pretty cool, especially because it's got the black trim, you know, it just really kind of makes sense to have the black vanishing point nibs on here. Um, now on GouletPens.com and other, other websites may do the same thing where you can actually swap the nib. It's pretty easy because to disassemble these pens, all you do is twist it here in the middle and then the nib unit just pulls out like so. Uh, and you can get these, they're 18 karat nibs and you can get these um, in uh, um, a black finish you can get them in a rhodium kind of plating, just like the, the color of this trim here, uh, or you can get them in their bare form, which is that yellow gold. It's the same yellow gold on all the nibs. It's just a different you know, coating on the outside that kind of gives it that different color. But the black really, really kind of looks slick. So even though you can get this in a gold or something else, I don't know why you want to, because I think this color looks pretty sweet. Now, immediately when I saw these colors, I thought of a limited edition one that came out a few years ago, the pink one. Uh, because it has kind of that sparkly finish in it as well. Uh, and so I haven't seen this sparkly finish since this pen came out. And uh, so it's really kind of cool. It's a very, very similar kind of thing. Same smoothness to it. Um, it's got kind of that little bit of white sparkliness going on. Uh, so I thought it would be kind of neat just to, to compare those ones side by side in case you happen to be familiar with the pink one at all. Now, early on in my fountain pen career, I really didn't care about matching the color of my ink to the color of my pen. But as my collection's grown, I've kind of started doing that more, and I know a lot of you out there do it too. So I went ahead and I picked out some colors that will match the pens. So if you would like to match your ink to your pens like I do, here's a couple suggestions for you. Uh, Palette of Roshizuku Momiji is not a deadlock match for this copper red, but it's pretty close. Uh, for the mountain blue, I found that Amairo was pretty close. Kanpeki was also really close, but Amairo was, was just a tad bit closer. Um, for the desert orange, I had Yuyake was a nice choice. For the tropical purple, uh, Mirasaki Shikibu was nice. And then Chiku Rin worked out really well 
for the green one. Now there's there's ink colors from other brands that will match up really nicely to these as well, but I thought it would be appropriate to go ahead and, and mention the pilot ones that will complement these pens very nicely. Now as soon as these pictures came out for this pen, I started getting questions about how does the orange compare to the classic Rhodia orange. Uh, Rhodia is a popular paper brand that a lot of fountain pen users use, uh, so I thought I would compare this pen to the Rhodia pad. Got my Rhodia orange, nice pad. Here's the desert orange. It's a little bit darker than the Rhodia, but it's really not too far off. You know, as far as oranges go, it's really tough to get them to match exactly. But I would say if this is as close as you get, I think you could be pretty happy with this. Those are the new Pilot Metallic Vanishing Points. If you have any questions about them or about anything else fountain pen related for that matter, you can feel free to leave me a comment on YouTube or on Ink Nouveau. You can hit up my team on Twitter, Facebook, whatever you got. Well, lots of different ways that you can reach us. And uh, if you like my videos here, you can feel free to subscribe on YouTube. That's the best way to get the latest of what I've been putting out. Thanks so much for spending time with me today, and right on.